So we have our books up on our site and we've been able to add all of the features that we might normally expect with posts and pages. What we're going to do now is see if we can make our books look more interesting. At the moment we don't have an image, there's still some extra features lacking. Let's go back and take a slightly more advanced look at the process that we've been using so far and let's see if we can make our books content more interesting than it is right now. So we're going to go away from our books, we're going to go back into our admin, into the pods admin, and I'm going to click edit next to books. What I'm going to do is add more fields. I'm going to start with the cover of the book so we can have an attractive image to sit next to the book right here. I'm going to click add field. I'm going to call this book cover and out of the options for the field type I'm going to choose file or image or video. This will give us access to the WordPress media library. And in addition to that I'm going to allow the person submitting the book to include some reviews as well. In this case we don't need a plain text option because that's going to give us just one single row. What we're going to be looking at is a paragraph so someone might write several sentences about what they thought about a particular book. We can choose a plain text option or we can choose a similar box but with the WYSIWYG or the visual editor with the bold, italic and underline buttons attached to it. There's also the code option if people want to insert code directly into a box but for reviews in this case we're going to choose the WYSIWYG option right there. And let's go ahead and also add the cost of the book as well. That's going to be an important option for a lot of people. There we go. And if we want to we can rearrange these but that's not so important. What will be important is actually modifying the template so that these new fields will show to people that are looking at the books once they've been added. So now that we've added those extra fields we can rearrange them here but that's not going to be quite as important as actually going to our templates again and adding these new fields to our books template so that people can actually see the new fields when they look at the books on our site. Before we leave, don't forget to click on Save Pod. I've seen quite a few people add fields and get things set up correctly and then leave without clicking Save. So don't forget to click Save Pod before you leave. Then go to Components and Templates and I'm going to click Edit next to Books Template here. First thing I'm going to do is actually add those new fields to the page. I'm going to have a whole variety of options for the book cover. WordPress ships with a thumbnail, a medium or a large option. So we can resize all of the book images automatically if someone happens to upload a particularly large image. In the template if we choose one of these predefined sizes WordPress will take care of resizing it for us. I'm going to choose the large option right there. Okay, we added the book cover. I'm going to add the cost as well. And we also added the reviews as well down there at the bottom. So let me go ahead and place those on the page. Okay. At the moment, if you remember, without any HTML around them, they're just going to flop onto the page. So, for some of these, I might just be happy to add a paragraph tag. For example, that should work fine for the cost of the book, and I can add that up there with the other items. If I want to, to make it stand out, I could go ahead and add an extra HTML tag, in this case strong, to the labels 
so that they stand out more clearly. For the reviews, what I could do is wrap them in a paragraph tag, of course, but I can use the reference fields, the reference items that Pods provides to do something a little more sophisticated. I'm going to add a H3 HTML heading and I'm going to start off by saying reviews of and then I can automatically pull in the title of the book that we're going to be reviewing right there. Now we also have the image to deal with as well. Now we're going to get a URL from here so we are going to have to do a little bit of HTML to make this image actually show in our template. I'm going to do img src equals and that should show the image on the page. If I want to I can use a similar technique to the one that I used for the reviews to add some useful data to the image. For example if I want to automatically add an alt tag or the text that will show if the image is hiding. I can do it like this and maybe to complete the alt tag I can add a little bit of extra text around it. And then finally maybe I can align the image so that it'll, it'll push to one side of the page where the labels and the reviews are going to be on the left. So I'm going to place that at the top of the page so the image will hopefully be on the right and the information about the book will be over there on the left. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to click on update and I'm going to add a second book to the site to see what my new fields and new template look like. I'm going to go to books to add new and this time I'm going to use another popular web design book called Don't Make Me Think which is about how people use websites and how we can make them more usable. So there's the title. Uh, let me grab a short part of the description right there. The cost of the book is about $30. And I'm going to borrow the image from Amazon right here. And we're going to see a add file option here for the book cover. I can add it just like almost any other image. There it is. Click on add file and there I have the space for the reviews underneath as well. There is one review on Amazon.com for this book. Coincidentally, it's the author of the other book that we just added to our site a few moments ago. So I can add in a review there. Let me go ahead and click on Publish and we'll see what our new books content type looks like with new fields and our new template. So this is what our book looks like when it's published on the site. You can see that all of our fields have come out correctly and our review with the automatically created title appears correctly as well. The image on the right hand side is you know, perhaps a little bit too big. We could solve that in a couple of ways. Either we can add more fields to take up this space. We could go back to our pods template 
and we could change the automatic resizing of the image from large to perhaps medium or thumbnail so that it fits into the design of this page more neatly. But I hope you agree that our new books pod is looking distinctly more interesting and also distinctly more flexible than it did if we tried to create this using a page or a post using a normal WordPress content type.